Hello lovely amours, welcome back again to my channel. My name is Cindy if you are new here. So in this place I do art lifestyle video content and also esoteric and spiritual knowledge. So for this video in particular, this has been requested. A lot of you ask me specifically about twin flame in separation and in union. And if you have not watched the previous video about the twin flame Q&A that I already already have on my channel, you can totally check that out as well. So we are going to take a look this whole concept from the perspective of spirituality, of course, but of course the logical human mind as well, because let us not forget we still live in this, you know, reality where we are in this physical body we call human with quite a lot of quote limitations that we still do experience now a lot of you ask this question as well so i'm going to get it clear up in this video and so if you are new to the channel then welcome and please don't forget to come and join the family by clicking subscribe and the bell ring so you will not miss any new videos and make sure you also check my instagram you can just follow me at amorinet where i share more of my art my paintings and updates and you know just awesome cool things okay so yeah i guess that's it and let us just get into to the video. I always just want to put a quick disclaimer in the beginning of the video is that please just do know that the understanding of soulmate and twin flame or even karmic connections can be very different from one person to another because at the end of the day please do not forget that these are just spiritual labels these are just spiritual terms that we human made up so that we can get a better understanding so yes of course it is amazing it is a great knowledge actually for us to be aware but what i just want to put a disclaimer on is that for you to please remember not like don't get too desperate okay don't get too desperate or way to attach over a term over a spiritual label that we call the twin flame or the soulmate because i just i just because i think that i just need to remind this quite a lot of times because i have seen these cases over and over again in the twin flame community especially that people tend to get just a little bit too desperate and clingy and one of the reasons why this whole twin flame dynamic can be chaotic and toxic as we all know it's because a lot of people are just way too desperate by the way i am going to separate this video into two parts within this very same video the first one we will approach about separation and then the last we will approach about union now a lot of times when people experience a separation whether it is physically or even telepathically as well because we all know that twin flames do have a very strong telepathic type of energy communication we have heard this type of cases over and over again where the other one is ghosting the other one the other one is the runner and the other one is the chaser and this really not so great dynamic keeps happening over and over again whether it is a drama that is happening within the connection itself or drama that was caused by other people now the thing is that yes of course let us not deny let us not invalidate that when you are left you know you you are being left alone by somebody that you truly love of course it really does hurt like hell for sure okay let us not invalidate that but the thing is that in my own personal experience I have learned myself the hard <laughs> damn way that no matter what at the end of the day your spiritual purpose your spiritual lesson is for you to learn more about your own life about your self-love about your own empowerment and personal growth 
I think that if I would have never been separated from my twin flame, I don't think I would be the person I am today. I don't think I would be able to be as successful as I am today in the things that I do in my life. I don't think I would have this type of passion and fire and spark and ambition that I have today, especially when it comes to my independence, when it comes to my confidence as well, and especially talking about boundaries. So the idea of why separation happens, it's because a lot of times your higher self, your soul or the universe, however you would like to call, are telling you that, hey, you really need to focus on yourself now. Why? Because you are going to go through such a very powerful spiritual awakening journey, but you have to find these answers and this revelation all by yourself so that you find the power within. Because quite a lot of people forget that the purpose of this whole twin flame thing at the end of the day it's about self-empowerment it's about self-love it has to first start with you now i know this may sound cheesy you may be like oh my goodness not this thing again cindy i am so damn tired of listening to this i know let me tell you i was so incredibly annoyed whenever i know deep down that I need to learn how to be patient with myself because by experiencing these things in my twin flame connection I learned a lot about growing you know really really growing from within in my own life and how I can better take control and take responsibility in my own life as well and how am I able to find that wholeness that happiness that joy that fulfillment within myself within my life and I can tell you believe me when I tell you I am so incredibly grateful and proud of myself and a lot of the experiences that I had in this life because of this whole twin flame dynamic because it really made me the strong independent and confident person I am today and so if you are in a twin flame separation stage right now, I truly understand how devastating it could be. I am also going to share with you my personal experience that back then, a few years ago, when I was separated from my twin flame, it was literally the darkest moment of my life. I was incredibly severe uh, depressed severely severely depressed and i was diagnosed with quite a lot of mental illness and issues as well with all any other trauma and pain and personal issues in my life as well in myself as well and it was crazy it was total hell so i totally understand it so so well if you are also feeling this way it can feel as if the world is just crumbling down and you just stop believing in love. But I learned it the hard way, which actually the best way of me knowing how to better love myself, how to better respect myself, especially again talking about boundaries, that is how I learn it. And ever since then, I do not let other people step on me as well. I do not let people take advantage of me and use me for my kindness, for my sensitivity, for my compassion, for my kindness, for, for my empathy. You know, I, I don't let people take advantage of that anymore. Because come on, realistically, if I would just let anybody step on me and use me for their own good, I would not be able to even make YouTube videos for you. I would not even be able to be a full-time tarot reader. Why? Because my energy would be so incredibly drained already by overly sacrificing myself for other people while my cup is very much empty and I would be so thirsty and starving. And yeah, I, I just want to tell you that it really matters a lot once you learn how to love yourself. 
and maybe people say that oh self-love is not important oh it's so cheesy oh my goodness it's so cringy well back then i used to think that mm, i don't know i don't know how i think about love i don't know how i think about myself and all of that type of things i mean i have had those moments as well but i think the reason why people are still not aware of self-empowerment or maybe they are aware but they just do not want to accept it or maybe they think that it's just you know cringy and cheesy i think the reason why a lot of people think that way it is because for so many generations for so many ages people are being thought by this belief system that no matter what you have to be strong you have to be tough you have to be hard as hell in order to survive life but now we are going to crumble down you know and tear down those limiting belief system because now we realize that that is actually not healthy emotionally mentally and physically as well it's not healthy in order for you to be able to experience the real raw love romance and intimacy that you truly want you have to learn how to be vulnerable you have to learn how to accept yourself and of course heal a lot of that inner child that shadow work and by the way if you do want to know more about shadow work you want to get a better understanding what is the purpose of shadow work and all of that good stuff i already created those videos on my channel so actually i'm just going to link those videos in the description as well and so yeah the reason why i mentioned this it's because in the twin flame separation stage these are all the things that you will learn okay want it or not you have to learn it you have to go through this now i know it may sound as if oh my goodness that that is crazy that is insane i don't understand why does this have to happen like okay yada yada self-love and all of that but why does the universe is so cruel is the universe just making joke at my life just putting a test on me and trolling me and whatnot like i am not a me oh my goodness like I know we are not memes we are literal human beings that apparently the universe want to kind of make us as a meme <laughs> but all jokes aside this is not about the universe or your twin flame testing you out okay this is a more about your own self-love like I said now another thing that I also really want you to be aware of one of the reasons why sometimes, just sometimes, the separation have to happen, it's because you have your own karma, you have some unfinished business with other parties, with other connections, and that is also the same with your twin flame. And if you and your twin flame would still be together in the process of purging out those karma, it can actually be very chaotic for both twin flames maybe it can even be destructive i would use this as the metaphor almost like the titanic movie like a boat okay a lifeboat so let's say you and your twin flame are on this lifeboat okay and there is a massive crazy storm in the sea and you see on the other on the other side there is another lifeboat that you can use for yourself you know that logically you just have to be separated from your twin so that you can get your own lifeboat and survive and so that your twin flame can also be in this one lifeboat and survive because if both of you would be in the same lifeboat maybe it's going to sink maybe it's maybe <laughs> maybe both of you are going to die i i know it sounds Kind of like dark and morbid but i'm just using this metaphor of a lifeboat that sometimes you don't know what will happen you don't know what will happen at sea right you don't know the the personality of the ocean and the wind and all of the elements which represent the universe you have no idea because the universe is just always full of surprise and mystery and so 
I know heart to heart you would of course want to be together with your twin flame in the same boat right but logically you know it's not going to work because with that crazy hell storm out there out there in the open ocean it's going to sink you both if both of you stay together in the same exact boat and so you just have to go on separate ways on each of your own boat so that both of you can survive and then come back together when everything is safe when you have finally found you know i don't know an island <laughs> and then you found uh, finally you found a shore or something a shore you know you get what i mean so you and your twin flame finally get to this island and you're like hey you know like running towards each other in the beach with the sunset in the background <laughs> I don't know what is wrong with me and metaphors. Oh my goodness, excuse me. I apologize. I just really like to use random metaphors, but then again, that is the idea of why separation happens. Why, how, and for whatever purpose, right? It's because of that. So in my own personal experience, I just feel that the separation had to happen because it's going to teach you a lot of valuable life le life lesson sorry life lesson and spiritual lesson as well for you and for them okay so both of you can finally come back again and be better and so finally we are getting into the twin flame union stage Whew, so after all of the drama the conflict and all of that crazy stuff in the separation stage we're getting into the union part because let's be honest a lot of people would want to be reunited to be you know reconciled with their twin flame right but here's the thing sometimes i think that the twin flame union can actually be a little bit more complex or complicated compared to the separation stage now why is that now remember like i said everybody have their own unique journey everybody have their own you know different cases and situation with their twin flame there are many different cases so i'm just going to approach this at least from the general idea of how you can expect union to happen first thing first just know that not a lot of people can have union physically with their twin flame they may finally reunite it with their twin flames uh, you know spiritually energetically or telepathically as well but not everybody will eventually reunite with their twin flame physically and why is that because if you believe it or not it's up to you but i have heard quite a lot of cases where your twin flame may not be in a human form your twin flame may still be a quote spirit guardian for you okay now i know that sounds very esoteric and magical so then again that is up for you to you know do your own research and believe in that or not it's up to you now with that part being said I'm going to focus on the general idea like I said a lot of people just have many kinds of circumstances in real life which just do not allow them to be together with their twin flame physically you may reconcile with them but it doesn't mean that you will eventually end up in a forever committed let's say marriage with your twin flame until the end of your lifetime right now you may still be in contact with your twin flame physically maybe as friends maybe as business partner as well i have heard some people that eventually still work things out with their twin flame but more of so as a collaboration partner sometimes even business and sometimes just as a support system as a best friend forever so i know there's just so many cases and situations to cover this because everybody is in a very unique and special different journey so i just want to get this out first that you know your own journey so 
any type of information that I'm giving to you, I just want to let you know to take it with a grain of salt because it really depends on each of your situation. But for sure, I can tell you that not everybody will eventually end ending up together with their twin flame forever and ever in this lifetime. Okay, now, when it comes to union physically, like I said, maybe you will be in contact again with them, but maybe not as lovers, even though both of you are very much in love with each other. Why? Because life circumstances, like I said, for example, maybe the other one is already in a committed relationship, the other one already married and have family and kids, and maybe that's also the same with you. And now, this is one of the cases that quite a lot of people mention, uh, in the comment sections, some people would email me and also ask me questions about what you should do if you are in this type of situation. I would just say that, again, remember, the whole Twin Flame ID is a spiritual label that we create. And so let us not get too desperate or attached to it, which means which means you still respecting your own boundaries, your own responsibility in your own life, including respecting their own boundaries and their own life. Because no matter what, we still have to accept things for what it is in real life, in this human, you know, physical reality. Like I said, there are just some circumstances that does not allow you to be together because for example like this situation it's not something that you can force because again the idea of the twin flame dynamic is you learning about a sense of self-love and self-respect and so for me personally, if I would be in that situation, well, I'm just going to let them be and I'm going to do me, okay? I do me, they do them. And I'm just going to respect that. I'm going to focus on my own life and also take responsibility. Because for me, if I would force this connection to happen so that I can have my twin flame at all costs, I feel that it just sounded a little bit too selfish in some ways and it's just not that healthy for you yourself as well because at least in my own personal experience you know being aware in this whole twin flame dynamic is about you learning how to bring balance in your own life as well so that you can get inspired so that you can heal yourself and move on to the future and me, I don't think I would want to bother myself too much. I don't want to, you know, get way too stressed out and have a headache forever. Just trying to find ways to make my twin flame mine. Because even though they are your twin flame, even though he's my twin flame, for example, but let's say he actually is already married, then that is his own choice. Because let us not forget, even when you and your twin flames are reincarnated together here in this lifetime, it doesn't mean that you have the same exact pathway together. You have your own free will, you have your own life purpose, you have your own spiritual journey, your own lesson, your own free will, your own karma, and your own you know, connections with other people as well. And that is also the same with them. They have their own thing, they have their own soul contracts and all of that good stuff. Maybe I guess I will make another video specifically about soul contract because I think that is a really interesting topic. So yeah, let me know. What do you think? Do you think that I should make a video specifically about soul contract? So yeah, you know, just be aware that a lot of these things really do play a factor. That is why, again, I know I have mentioned this and repeat this over and over again, but I just have to say it one last time as a disclaimer. This whole spiritual thing is still a label, it's still a term. You still have to balance between the spiritual world and also the human world. That is actually how you are able to survive in this life. And a lot of these lessons, I know it sounds personal, but it really has 
almost everything to do with understanding the twin flame dynamic so with that being said and being done now last but not least i am going to focus on what you can do if let's say you are in a situation that allows you to reunite back with your twin flame what you can expect in that union what you can do and how you can actually manage to be in union instead of going back to the past again because let us not forget quite a lot of times when twin flames get back together it may not just be immediately perfect okay it may not be smooth sailing like you thought or that you expect it would be because let us not forget we as humans we have trauma we have pain we have memories whatever happened in the past between you and other people between you and your twin flame between your twin flame and other people and all of that crazy stuff it will still play a huge part why one of the reason of twin flames being in separation it's also because of fear okay oh, this is one of the highest case here fear this is talking about the fear the ego insecurity and why why the twin flame connection can be so triggering why why does it cause separation why well like i said earlier is that you just have to learn how to better respect yourself now when you get back to your twin flame it's still important for you to still keep that respect okay this is actually i think one of the hardest lesson is for you to still keep yourself and this connection afloat above instead of letting whatever old past thing make you sink that boat back into the depth of the sea again because quite a lot of times i have seen twin flames getting back together and not long after that they fall back into this cycle of the runner chaser ghosting type of thing the other one running away the other one chasing and then they come back and then the other one is the one that's running away and then the other one that is chasing oh my goodness it's just toxic okay i have to say it if you find yourself in this type of situation maybe you just have to take a break from it and please remember as well if you think that your person is actually abusive and manipulative i don't know what else to say for me i don't care if they are my twin flame or not but if he hurt me if he abuses me that hell no i ain't getting back at you i don't even want to deal with somebody like that so that is why like i said taking a look at the reality that you experience in this human physical body and still using your logic it still is important no matter how much you truly love and care somebody especially if you found out that apparently they could be your twin flame you still have to make a sense out of it because if somebody abuses you whether it's verbally physically mentally emotionally whatever but if this person keeps abusing you and it's just so toxic and mean and manipulative and they gaslight you and they criticize you all the time I don't want to deal with somebody like that I don't even want to bother to call that person my twin flame or not because hey I would not even want to care about that I just want to live my life and I want to find somebody that truly works for me in my own love life because I know I deserve that and that is why I keep mentioning over and over again that the self-love and the empowerment spiritual journey for you yourself is important so just be aware whatever type of situation you are in at least make sure that it is still healthy okay now one of the ways that you can do with your twin flame let's say you are finally together you are reunited physically and let's focus on the good or you can say the best case scenario you are finally in a long-term committed love relationship with your twin flame and hey who knows you may as well actually get married with your twin flame just remember that the trigger 
from whatever it is, okay, from the past, it may still come up. Whether it's small, it's medium, it's big, the trigger, it will still be there. But as long as both of you know how to respect each other well, you respecting yourself as well, them respecting themselves as well, I do think that psychologically it can still work. Because at least for me, I do love psychology. I love love psychology. I really care a lot about mental health awareness as well. So yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope this brings you a lot of clarity, confirmation awareness understanding and whatnot and just let me know your thoughts your questions whatever it is down below in the comments let's have a discussion and if you have any recommendation as well for future videos topics whatever it is that you want me to talk about just let me know and i really do hope that this video is clear enough it is detailed enough because i'm a type of person that i just like to analyze a lot of things and get deep you know maybe because i'm a fear go <laughs> thank you so so much for watching this video don't forget to also follow me on my instagram okay at amorinet for more art spiritual posts updates and things like that and oh also if you are interested in my art you can always check out my website for available paintings or if you would like to order a commission piece from me okay my website is at cindyantoinette.com all complete links and contact is down in the description as always so yeah that's about it and i will see you again okay Mwah.